I do an update on the floral clock, but um, my bike got stolen the day after I uploaded the video, so I don't think that's going to happen this week. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wee walk over to the shore after stopping off for a coffee at Hideout Cafe. Um, it's one of my favourite coffee places in town. Uh, and if you fancy buying me a coffee, there's a link in the description. <laughs> The shore and Leith is only a couple of minutes away from the foot of the walk. I love it for one of a couple of reasons. One, this is my hometown. Two, food is fantastic down here. Fantastic bars and restaurants. And three, the history. Uh, you can't really go wrong with it because it's, it's full of it, it's steeped in it. This is where I recommend people to go to for food and for drinks when they're staying in town. Because as great as the centre of Edinburgh is, this is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> St Ninian's Church dates back to the 16th century originally. Uh, this is the site where the old Water of Leith uh, bridge used to go over, the old medieval one. Uh, and it's also the site where witches used to be trialled as well. Jarl Street you've got the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society where you need to be a member to get access or know somebody that uh, can get you in. I've been a member for quite a few years as you can tell from my card um, but if you like good whiskey, single malt, I, I highly recommend becoming a member of this. You don't just need to be in Edinburgh, you could be anywhere in the world as well. I'll put a link down in the description. This is Lamb's house built by Andrew Lamb, a great merchant that used to live in Leith. Uh, this is the site supposedly where Mary Queen of Scots um, was dined when she first came back from France. The building itself is absolutely stunning and now it's actually been restored and used as the uh, Icelandic consulate. We've got the King's Walk, which used to date back to 14... 1434. I've done this a million times and I keep forgetting that date. 1434 used to be an armory for the King, it's been a hospital for plague victims, it's now a pub. Decent food, decent beer, yeah, again, you can't go wrong with that. Try it out. Ship on the Shore is also a really good recommendation for food. The problem is, they're all pretty good. The shore is also pretty good as well. And then you've also got Fishers too. Love Fishers, I'm not a massive seafood fan, but if I can eat in this place, I'd happily do it any single time of the day. Love it when 
the segments are here. That's a harpoon from the company called Christian Salveson. This used to be one of the largest whaling companies in the world. Every single one of their ships was registered here in Leith. So, scary enough, we used to be a massive whaling community. Not that we ever really talk about it because whaling is bad. But still, it's part of our history. And the sun's out. Before the wind gets properly crazy, I think I'm going to finish here. This is now the docks. Now the shore is just over that direction. The docks itself is still a working docks and it's quite busy at the moment because of Covid and all that. Uh, a lot of the ships that are normally out in uh, at sea are currently in just now. But this behind me, this is the Fingal. Now if you fancy dining somewhere where the Queen dined, this is it for you. Brilliant, beautiful hotel uh, and something again I would highly recommend as well. It's a little bit of a random location because it's right on the docks but at the same time it's something that which is certainly memorable as well. Now if you've enjoyed the video hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and check out any of the links below. Next week, fingers crossed, I'll be getting a chance to do an update on the floral clock. It should be finished by then. Um, I've been able to borrow a bike from a mate for a wee while, uh, but I need to give it a little fix up. So fingers crossed, normal uh, practice will resume from then on. Cheerio.